Filmmaking is my passion, and with that said, I've seen countless films and television series that have changed my life in one way or another. I was introduced to the video camera at a young age, and from there on I made film after film after film. I created a YouTube channel to showcase my work and, you know, kind of experiment with new techniques, you know, see what would work and what wouldn't work. Unfortunately, school and other things in my personal life have halted many of my planned YouTube videos, and the one that you're watching right now is one of them. Many of the films that I'm going to talk about are ones that I saw at a young age. Bear in mind that this is not a list of my favorite films, just the ones that made a permanent impact on me. Number 5, Stanley Kubrick Films. Anything missing? Holy Jesus. What is that? What the f is that? What is that private pile? Since my original list was primarily Kubrick films, I decided just to put them all as a whole. My favorites from him are Full Metal Jacket, The Shining, 2001 A Space Odyssey, A Clockwork Orange, and Barry Lyndon. First off, these films are just stunningly beautiful to look at. They all have a distinct look and personality. Barry Lyndon especially because some of the scenes were completely lit by candlelight. I could literally spend my entire life staring at this movie. It's just completely gorgeous. 2001 bored me at first, but I've grown to love it with both my love of filmmaking and my love of the science and the wonders of the unknown. Full Metal Jacket is one that my dad introduced me to. I was excited because this was my first rated R movie, and you know, what a way to start, and that's what dads are for. The Shining is a film like no other. It's mysterious, eerie, and disturbing all at the same time. I've watched many documentaries about people analyzing every single last detail about this film. It's just absolutely great. A Clockwork Orange is messed up, but it's brilliant and very well done. It has A-plus performances and is full of dark comedy. And that's what filmmaking is all about. Right, Pete, check the rest of the house. Ten. Number 4, American Movie. Out of all of the film documentaries out there, American Movie is best by far. It centers around a filmmaker named Mark who is trying to make his movie Northwestern and trying to finish Coven at the same time. It's mostly comical. It's alright. Um, uh, there's something to live for. Jesus told me so. Okay, great film, but we gotta, we have to have fluidity in there. But does have sadness in it too. It's one film that I can relate to almost 100% as a filmmaker, and everyone else who I've heard talk about it has said the exact same thing. It's absolutely brilliant every way you look at it. Number three, King Kong. I was already into filmmaking by the time I was five years old. I had been making films and watching them many times over. Fate would have it, however, that one day my mother and I watched the most gigantic film of my life, King Kong. The special effects in this film were outstanding, and to me, they're the finest that cinema has ever seen. The film introduced me to stop motion animation, which is a series of frame by frame pictures to give off the illusion of movement. I tried it myself, and it is very tedious, even with the technology of today. I shudder to think of how long it would have taken 80 years ago when it was shot, and that is what makes it spectacular. Number 2, The Rocky Franchise When I was about 9 years old, I learned about a film that in itself rose above all odds and became the best. It was Rocky, and to be honest, the first time I watched it, it bored the crap out of me. It was most likely due to the fact that I was 9 years old and naive at the time, and the films that I enjoyed back then were the ones with explosions and intense action scenes. You know, I was more of a fan of Rambo at the time. However, when I got older and I began to appreciate the classics, I re-watched Rocky. The second time in, it mesmerized me. 
I was 11 years old, and when Rocky was on the floor trying to get up during the final fight, my heart was beating, my blood was pumping, my eyes were scanned on the TV, unable to look away. Just last summer, I convinced my dad to go scout shooting for the locations in Philadelphia. Together, we explored the city, and I documented the entire thing in a video. Number one, the Star Wars trilogy. I was born in 1999, so I was either not born yet or too young to see these films in theaters. I remember when I was about five or six, I saw the original trilogy for the first time in my life. I couldn't believe my eyes. The guns, the characters, the lightsabers, the ships were all spectacular. I enjoyed the band of heroes, of course, but the villains in their imperial march blew me away. I even remember getting in trouble because I'd hummed the march and my teacher was walking down the halls. I collected a plethora of different action figures and read many expanded universe books. I remember playing Knights of the Old Republic for the first time and it being my favorite Star Wars story to date. Now, I don't think it was the best story, I think the original trilogy story was much better, but, you know, it beats the prequels any day. What's wrong, Annie? I... I killed them. I killed them all. They're dead. Every single one of them. And not just the men. But the women. And the children, too. They're like animals. And I slaughtered them like animals. I hate them! I'm only 14 and I already know what I want to do with my life. I'm dreaming the big dream that someday I'll get recognized and be able to do something big. I want to be like Kubrick, Spielberg, Abrams, or Ford, who did something incredible and then they were remembered for it later. Filmmaking to me is not just a hobby, it's a passion. Making them is easier now than ever with new software and techniques than I had when I first started. These five films changed my life. Perhaps someday I'll change the life of someone else with my